Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, uh, May 22nd, week of the Thanksgiving for us uh, U.S. Uh, people here. So it's going to be a short week this week. We got some important, nothing uh, related to news releases today, economic news releases today, uh, but we do got a few things, items in the uh, uh, news. Uh, but we'll start that in a second. I'm going to start something a little new today. Typically, I would write up a little synopsis on the bottom of this, but from here on out, I'm just going to do the v, basic vlog. So this will be strictly video uh, from now on, just due to time constraints in my schedule. So uh, bear with me, guys. And uh, so let's start off. Uh, the news uh, stock market is, I don't know, the guy raised part of me. Uh, it was actually it was mixed earlier this morning, but about the time as I was working on it, it looked like it went down. So my apologies. Actually, stock market was down. Uh, the big news really today, it looks like Ireland had a uh, agreement with uh, the EU uh, this past weekend. And now the concern is, is it gonna be, is there gonna be enough there to be able to help out Portugal and Spain? As we know, those two countries will be next in line for probably bailout. Uh, so now the concern is, is it gonna kind of wipe out Europe as stability-wise uh, to put them further into, uh, financial turmoil or are they going to be able to sustain themselves? So that's going to be the big question. That's what's kind of dragging on the stock market today on there. And so this bond market, let's take a look here. As we saw, we've been having this downward trend over the last couple of weeks here. Started from way up here and it's been kind of going down here, kind of steep here. And we had a couple of really steep drops here, dropped down to actually different trading range here. Been kind of going sideways here. And of course, as I was trying to explain on uh, Friday, the sideways pattern, the longer we do it, the worse it gets because as we can see, if this comes down further, that means probably uh, the correction becomes lower and lower. So if we had to come back sooner, this you know this probably would have been up here rather than down here. Uh, but right now, this would be more or less where the correcting point would be in this range here. So, you know, uh, but right now we're above the 100 day moving average, which we can see kind of following along here. We kind of had an opening gap here. Expect some volatility this week. We do have a short week. Uh, so most of the, the professional traders will be out, uh, you know, the vacation homes or with the families. Uh, we, you know, so we're gonna be receptive, uh, susceptible, susceptible uh, for uh, uh, amateurs out there. So it could be very volatile this week. So be cautious. All right, uh, so mortgage rates did improve. As we can see here, the bond market did go up. So as a result, mortgage rates didn't show some improvement. And anything else changes, I'll let you guys know. Have a great day.